It's just a few days before Christmas, but the excitement in this room is not just about Santa and presents under the tree. It is a reunion of families who adopted children from Russia. In a way, I feel these are my children. I'm an adoption coordinator, and I myself come from Russia. These children remind me of a Russian saying, Radice Vrubashki, that they were born wearing a lucky shirt. For some of the younger ones, the harsh memories of their lives before adoption still linger, but they will soon fade away. Like most international adoptees, they'll go through their life without even a single picture of themselves before adoption. It is as if they were born the day they were adopted. At this age, it doesn't bother them. But as they grow up, I wonder how many will embark on a desperate search for their roots and birth relatives. Kira's story started three years ago, during the coldest winter Russia had known in 50 years. The road from Moscow to Pereslavl, a typical small Russian town, takes two hours. For Claire and Gary Conrad, this is the last two hours of their long adoption journey. Gary and Claire are not new to adoption. Ten years ago, they adopted twin sisters in Canada. This time, they've turned to an orphanage in Russia. The reason that we chose to adopt a child from Russia was an article that we read in the newspaper in June, and it really, really touched our hearts when we read about all the orphans that were in the different orphanages throughout the country. We'd like to enrich the life of a child, and we have really both the means financially as well as the love in our heart to take on another child. Thank you. 